Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. It's July 8th, still July 8th, and we're going to talk about tomatoes. So let's take a look at it. We're down here in the garden, and we're in the tomato patch. Now there's lots of orange tomatoes. These cherry tomatoes here, it's a gold nugget. There's plenty of them that's ripe here, but they, they just overabundant. The plants aren't looking that good. Uh, a lot of them end up getting stung by uh, stink bugs or leaf foot bugs. And so we've just, we've decided we're not going to pick them anymore. Uh, we're just uh, picking our red varieties. Now this is a jungle in here. Now we have uh, some German Johnsons. These are the first ones. And the German Johnson is kind of a... Um, pink tomato we're going to go ahead and we're picking these now i'll pick these when they're quite a bit of green but when they're ripe there's still some green on top of these but uh as you can see they're just hanging all over we have in uh situations here with uh we've got some worms coming in here uh we're still getting plenty of tomatoes that aren't uh bitten by worms now we get into here and we've got our cherry tomatoes and we picked these kind of early but you can see how when they end up with these spots all over them these are because they've been stung and uh there's a lot of times you can see the the a stink bug here and there uh, i don't normally see the leaf foot bugs like uh, i would all the time but i do have them occasionally buzz my head but you can see these tomato plants are looking mighty rough. Now, I'm not going to plant a second batch of cherry tomatoes. Um, not right now, anyway. I might later on. But uh, what I am going to do is, it's not long, these are going to be taken out. And I've got some replacements. Now, these here were rut, Rutgers. They're, they're pretty good uh, tomato. They're, they're hybrid uh we also have uh, the celebrities, that, and, they, and they've been producing good. And we pick them. Now you see, you see that squash or that stink bug right there. Uh, they'll just smash them as they come across them. But that's what's actually uh, stinging these, stinging these uh tomatoes or those uh, squash bugs and I'm I'm not going to do a bunch of spraying down in here I'm just going to uh, take and, and uh, try to pick them early so and they're out in full force this morning uh, but we'll get rid of those squash bugs but I'm just I'll let these play on out they're they're still blooming i don't know if they're going to be setting tomatoes but they're they look worse and worse by the week now we've got quite a bit of tomatoes we did quite a bit of sauce and all that but for our fall tomatoes we're going to plant a different varieties uh we're we're not going to plant uh any of these varieties that's here except now i see one of the leaf foot bugs growing up in there but they'll do the stinging too and i could come out here with the vacuum and try to cur curtail some of the damage from them but uh it's there's too much going on for me to do that so what we do is we just pick the once they start to get ripe we, we'll pick most of them that way we don't have to worry about the uh i'm getting stung up so bad but what what this is, video is about is starting a fall crop because if if your tomato plants are looking like mine and you're down in the south or somewhere where you've got a longer growing time uh this is the time to uh get some started now i've got some uh that i've already uh planted some seed which is they're going to be some uh, beef steak and some homestead which are uh both heirloom varieties and and uh, the homestead is supposed to be a good heat tolerant variety so it makes an excellent uh late crop and uh we we're going to we've taken uh some 
suckers off of our uh, Cherokee purples. We're going to grow some more of those because we really like the flavor. And we're going to show that process of uh, taking and growing those suckers into viable plants. Okay, and here's the process, which we cut our little suckers. Uh, we've got more than enough uh, plants for this fall. We might just do about a dozen of these. So if some don't survive, uh, I potted these up uh, yesterday, which uh, was the eighth. So uh, that's the ninth. And I'll water them one more time, and then I'll put them on the shelf. They've been sitting here, and the fan's been blowing, so it's made them dry a little bit more than normal. Now, here are my uh, tomato plants that I've grown from seed. These were started on the 14th of uh, June. And you can see they're definitely wanting to stretch for some light. I'm going to put them out in the greenhouse so they've got some filtered light and they won't be just in direct sunlight and i have some beef steaks here same thing these will be uh, moved out to the greenhouse today and then we'll we'll see how how they do but if you're going to have a second crop of uh tomatoes you have to kind of plan because you're uh if you're in my area the i'm in east texas here in the uh there's not a lot of available plants and even if there was I, I like to grow the varieties i want and grow them from seed but you'll see even though these were uh started almost a month behind uh these ones here uh, they'll be right there with them in fact they might be a little bit ahead of them once they get to rooting in so hopefully we'll have good success and uh, I'll pay attention, keep them watered and, and such. Normally, a lot of times when I pot them up, I'll put them in a little bit bigger pot. But in about a week's time, they should have roots and, and uh, be doing pretty good. But anyway, I hope uh, <clears throat> you found a little value in this. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see more, well, hit that subscribe, hit the bell, and select all. And, of course, enjoy that gardening experience.